Coach, was there anything positive or negative that stood out from the opening weekend at Manitoba? Uh, I thought there was positives for sure. I thought our D zone got better as the weekend went on, and I thought that uh, got some zone time. We just didn't score on some of the chances we had. The way the guys came back in that opening game, uh, what does that tell you about how prepared they were for that night? Yeah, it was impressive. You know, I think it has a lot to do with the group that started to form in there and some of the leadership we have. And we kind of figured once we get one, you know, we, we're right into it. And obviously it showed the firepower we have as well. It says something about the mentality too, right? Yeah, yeah, no, they're, they're a good group. And I think they're hungry. And I think the group in there knows that we could be a really good team here if, if we do some, uh, if we clean up some of the habits. I noticed you talked about firepower and between these two games and your two preseason games against Iowa, uh, no scoring until the third period or later. How do you talk to your team about making sure you're taking advantages early and making sure you're getting on the board earlier than, than the last 20 or so minutes? <laughs> well, I mean, I think it's uh, uh, the game ebbs and flows. It's a long year. I think that we had some looks early, like even that second game uh, on Sunday, we had some really good opportunities. Didn't capitalize. We need to be a little bit more... Uh, uh, direct and a little bit more intense around the net to make sure we're playing inside the dots a little bit more than we did uh, that second half on Sunday. Phil, Phil got off to a great start. Um, what do you like about what he's bringing to this team and can bring to this team? Well, there's lots to like, right? I think uh, the way he plays, plays with pace. Uh, just talking to him today after he was not happy with his Sunday game, that just tells you a little bit about who he is, right? He was like, he held, he holds himself to pretty high standards, right? So I think that uh, that's impressive. Got your captain back this year, Garrett Mitchell. Just tell me what uh, you know, what you've seen in him this year so far, and and why he's uh, sticking around as that leader. Well, I mean, the leadership qualities are one thing, but I think on the ice he plays hard. He's an honest player. He's good on faceoffs. He, he sticks up for his teammates, and he makes the right decisions a lot of times late in games, or even if it's early in games. Sometimes he knows what he is. How nice is it to have that presence then for your guys? Yeah, it's great. I mean, he's great for the young guys to lean on and communications with, with everybody in there in the locker room. I think it's great. This morning you got Vlasic added. I know he wasn't out on the ice yet, but uh, what's the potential of this young man? How big of an asset could he be? Well, lots of potential, right? Uh, I think, uh, you know, the size, the range, the way he defends. I think that, uh, you know, once he gets up to speed of what we're doing here and just, you know, he's a young kid still, right? I think he's 21, so I think he's got a lot of good years ahead of him. Home opening uh, weekend here. Just yeah. how much excitement is there just to get back in front of your own fans and, and see what this uh, new additions to the building also have to offer? Yeah, tons, tons. Yeah, I think everybody's excited. I looked up at that scoreboard. It was a little bit, uh, it was uh, scary almost how big it is, right? I didn't want to skate under it. So I want to skate around it, so no. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, we're excited. We're really excited. I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be some people in the stands as well, and I think the guys are really pumped. Especially with the Wolves here, how, mu how much carryover do you expect from the playoffs last year with this team? <laughs> Good question. I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I think any time you play the Wolves, right, I think, I think the guys get up for it. And I know I kind of caught you off guard with this question last week, but I know this home opener starts a seven-game homestand. You guys don't have a home stand longer than three games the rest of the season. You know, how much does that set up for opportunities to be able to establish something strong in this early going here? No, I think it's I think it's a very good point. Uh, I think it's something that we have to make sure we take care of. Obviously, this is the, the season started, right? So all the points are up for grabs here, and playing at home, uh, being able to sleep in our own beds, having practice time here is huge and having a crowd behind us in games, uh, we definitely want to create some momentum here. Seems like it was kind of all hands on deck in terms of developmental coaches and coaches here today. Um, how nice is it to have all these people to lean on when you come out here for a practice? And how frequent do you expect this to be where you have so many of these folks here with you? Well, first of all, I think it's great, right? I think that the more eyes we can have on the players, the more help the players can get in certain areas, I think it's great. Um, I think that once a week we're going to see these guys around for sure, and we're going to set aside time for them like we did today where they have opportunities to work with the guys. In uh, the end of the day, if we, if we improve the players, our team's going to improve as well, right? So that's what we're, we're uh, big believers in that, so that's exciting.